Mariners started Joel Pinheiro, the youngster, trying to stop the Mariners bleeding against the Yankees. And Derek Jeter tried to get things started in the first for Jeff Cirillo. A nice pick at the hot corner. Cat-like reflexes for Cirillo. Going to the glove side and a nice short arm pick. Nice throw. Bottom two, Edgar Martinez. The other way and Roger Clemens. 29th career home run against the Yankees for Edgar Martinez. Bottom three, one nothing Seattle, men up. Jeff Cirillo with a man on, Jason Giambi can't make the play. And Cirillo beats it out. Giambi can't get it out of his glove in time. We got men in the corners as Cirillo beats it. Next batter is Ichiro. And Ichiro gets a four pitch walk. And we got a meeting on the mound with the Rocket. John Olerud would come up and issue a sack fly. And then Edgar Martinez once again down the line 91 career rbis against the yankees now for edgar martinez mariners up four to nothing it's a five nothing game top four jason giambi up and he got it a bb down the line hits just the bottom part of the foul pole it's five one and then pinheiro would get downright nasty with a man on same inning posada swinging new york just five hits off of Pinheiro, Raul Mondesi, right back to the box, inning over. Top six, Giambi, looking. Bernie Williams, swinging. Five strikeouts for Pinheiro, 13 and four now on the season. And the Mariners snapped the Yankees six game win streak and Martinez got off against the Rocket, against whom he entered the game 220 lifetime. Now he's hitting 244 lifetime against Clemens. Said Martinez, I got lucky, I guess. Earlier Sunday, the Mariners acquired another starter, Ishmael Valdez, from the Rangers for two minor leaguers. Angels begin today a half game back of the M's for the AL West lead. Angels and Indians, gotta love the rally monkey, especially when he's got binoculars. Bottom four, Sean Wooten getting his double on off CC Sabathia. Troy Gloss scores. Wooten, two for four, just his third double of the year, two on Halos. Bottom three, bottom seven, three one Angels. They got my favorite name in the bigs. Coco Crisp, Roman, and just absolutely crispy burning David Eckstein. Alex Ochoa doubled up at first. Crisp hitting 353 in a limited role, but you know what? Top eight, Benji Gill returns the favor. Crisp, Rob Eckstein, Benji Gill, Rob's Rich. Coco, I'm just cuckoo for Coco Crisp. Cuckoo for Coco Crisp. Angels win the game. 4-1. Halos win for the seventh time in eight games remain. Which fouls it off and loses the lumber in the process. Lost it. But it's been a tough hands weekend for Mikhevich all around Saturday night. This happened and this was not good. Missed the glove and it led to a Red Sox run. And on Sunday night, you have to practice. You have to practice. Perfect. Back <laughs> to the game. He holds on to the bat here. Same at bat. Ninth home run of the season. 2-1 Twins. Helps to hold on to the bat. Or break it if you're Barry Bonds. Top seven, three, one, twins. Cliff Floyd batting, and he got it. Off of Rick Reed. Third home run is a Red Sox. Also happens to be his third RBI. I'm going to go out on a limb and say all his home runs have been solo shots. It's a 3-2 game. That's your score. Two on, two out for Floyd. J.C. Romero gets him swinging. That would end the Boston threat, the final Boston threat of the night as the Twins played some insurance runs in the bottom half of the eighth and go on to win 6-2. Red Sox now 18 and 19 since the All-Star break. Trail the Angels by three and a half games in the wild card race. Rick Reed seven innings for the fifth time in six decisions. Christian Guzman got a hit at 16 straight. He's gotten a hit in it. That's the longest current streak in the bigs. White Sox and A's, Barry Zito, 8-1, 2.37 ERA at home. First batter of the game, Tony Graffinino, yokes the pitch to left, but David Justice says, dog, you got to bring it harder than that. Nice grab. The 36-year-old Justice, one day after hitting career RBI number 1,000, robs him. And even DJ can't believe that. Bottom four, A's up, 4-1, runner on first, Terrence Long, kid just holding it down. In the third inning, he snapped an 0 for 13 streak with a two-run homer. This is his second two-run homer of the game, number 10 and 11 of the year, A's up 6-1. Top six, Chad Bradford replacing Zito. Bradford tells Joe Creed D. Gonna take you higher. A's complete the sweep. Three game sweep of Chi Town. Barry Zito wins number 17, matching his career high for victories. A's have won five straight and 11 of 14, and they remain two games behind Seattle 
in the American League West. It was either Bobby Valentine or his alter ego. You know, the guy in the clubhouse who looks like Bobby V but has a mustache and glasses. But one of them said Saturday night, Dodger pitcher Odalis Perez was tipping his pitches, which, which is kind of interesting because Perez retired the first 19 Mets he saw on the way to ending a six-start winless streak. Remarked Perez, if I was tipping my pitches, they couldn't hit it, which is usually what you do, Rich, right, if you're getting tipped off. Mm -hmm. Dodgers and Mets, again. Bobby Valentine, some things to say manager, before Sunday's Bobby game about Valentine. their seven-game losing well, skid. It's killing me. It's killing my folks. It's killing my family. It's killing my dogs. This is terrible. I don't know if fans are upset. I can understand that. If Bobby well, Valentine's dogs watch Steve Traxel on right Sunday, they'd be going, one delivery. Ooh. Two and two. Mark Grizzlenick fouls off the pitch. Now, we start counting the time it takes for Traxel to throw his next pitch. Rich, I'm going to go do my taxes and bake some cookies. I'm also going to stop first and wake up Jeremy Burnett. Timo Perez tells, Timo, why don't you tell us about your life from DNA up until this afternoon? This is the first time Traxel has been slow. September 98 on the sure, mount of the Cubs, the, swing, the human swing. gridlock, Steve <laughs> Traxel. I mean, his fielders, they're deep in contemplation. It's getting chilly. Finally, a pitch. It's been called for delay of game in the NFL. Traxel has even managed to slow down our flashback animation. Now, it took Traxel 45 seconds back in 98. Come on, Sergio. I mean, Steve. Welcome to ESPN's Fitness Show, Man. featuring Kiana and Jeremy Bernitz. They could have a collective bargaining agreement session then. Fans are chanting, throw the ball. I've never heard the chant, throw the ball. I've never heard that. Here's another slow thing. Molasses, the three-toed uh, sloth, the slowest Lady animal in the world. <laughs> not, not in New York. York. <laughs> I think Mike Piazza is going to get a groin, pull a groin, waiting, crouching behind the plate. Oh, man. Finally, finally, a minute, three seconds, Traxel threw a pitch. Home plate umpire Gary Cedarstrom grew hair on his chest between pitches. I think Bobby V's dog's aged. Bobby V's dog died. Dodgers win it 2-1. Mets lose their 11th straight at home, 8th straight overall, and those New York fans, you heard the chant, Rich, throw the ball, throw the ball. It was probably throw the ball. It was, hey, throw the bleeping ball, huh? I'll take Giants and Marlins for 200, Alex. A.J. Burnett. There goes the runner. Strike him out. Mike Redmond, throw him out. Uh, David Bell and Richard really here, respectively. Bottom four, Russell Ortiz to Mike Lowell. Hits it to center. Kenny Lofton on the run, and that's a web jam. Preston Wilson scores, but that saved a heck of a lot of runs with the bases loaded. Marlins up 2 nothing. Kenny's 55 years old now. Bottom six, <laughs> Ortiz facing Mike Lowell. That's called a strike by home plate up Tim Timmons, who hears it from Lowell. And then Lowell gets the gate. And he's going to get his money's worth now. Timmons had thrown Benito Santiago in the game earlier. Marlins up 3 nothing. Barry Bonds, that is called a ball. And Burnett doesn't like the call. Next pitch, that is called ball four. And Bob Barry goes to first. Burnett takes a stroll. Top nine, still three up the two outs. Jeff Kent lines out to end the game, and Burnett is fired up. He is just throwing a shutout, and after the game, that that will earn a young man a little bit of shaving cream. It's a close shave. He said, he didn't, even, he didn't take it in straight, just nodding his head. I'll answer the question with my face full of shaving cream. But if, if you hit somebody with the pie, their mouth has to be open. It just ah, works better. Okay, so there is a bad pie form. etiquette. There. It's a three-hitter for uh, Burnett. Now a major league leading five shutouts. He retired to all the last 13 batters, set a career high with his 12th win. He's third in the NL in innings pitched and strikeouts, trailing only Kurt Schilling and Randy Johnson. Diamondbacks and Cubs, top six, Damian Miller facing Matt Clement and Miller, which call a blue. Sammy Sosa and Mark Bellhorn, car accident. They T-bone each other. Oh. Damon Miller comes all the way around to score. The third inside the park home run for the Diamondbacks this year, 11th one in the majors. Got to take another look, though, at Sosa and Bellhorn. They don't see each other. Sammy looked like he pulled up at the last second. One more look. They bang heads right there. Both players would stay in the game for the moment, but they would both leave in the seventh with headaches. Top seven, Flash Gordon treating J-Bell like a dog. Stay, sit.
Bell only hitting 222. After the strikeout, Girardi and home plate umpire Andy Fletcher exchange words. Somebody says something about halitosis. Bruce Kim comes out. Kim gets tossed. Bottom nine, 2-2 game, Joe Girardi. Chicago, where they pack that heat. Rob, other teams in the night, creep, creep. We'll see you later when I'm in them streets. Just Joe Girardi's ninth RBI of the year, and it comes at a seriously great time. Cubs win the game 3-2. Arizona's winning streak over at eight. Antonio Alfonseca, apparently Rich, was not sleeping in the dugout. He pitched a scoreless ninth for the Cubs. A-Rod, I, Poppy, I did not know you could hit the sweet spot like that. 43rd homer of the year, fourth in two games. Rangers up 6-3 in the second. In the fourth, Alex Rodriguez at the plate with one out, nobody on, sends it deep to right. But Dwayne Wise, real smart about that catch. But don't count A-Rod out yet. Play. Come on, brother, that, that ain't right. Sixth home run in three games, six homer in nine at bats, 44th of the year, takes over the Major League lead from Sammy Sosa. Texas won the game. Towards 10. Oh, and good to see El Presidente getting a degree. He won the Masters. Let's flash back to Saturday yeah, night. Bobby Higginson threw out Mike Bordick at the plate. Tony on the year. So that brings us to Sunday. There must be something that's going to happen which reminds us of what happened Saturday. Bordick's on second. Jerry Hairston in the left. And Higginson's coming up throwing. Oh, Buck, it's awful rare to see outfielders today that can throw. Higginson is one of those really consistent arms, especially in left field. Why is that? Because most of your strong arms go to center or right field. Left field is using offensive guy. Oh, what a play. Bobby Fick to left, and Melvin Mora makes the diving catch. Melvin. One more look. Melvin, is, he's so valuable being able to play everywhere over the field. He loves to make those spectacular catches. Likes to have a good time, too. Does his SOSA impression. Tigers beat the Orioles by a score of 7-4. to four. Bernero, two-thirds of an inning. Two and two-thirds, I should say, and no earned runs. Very good. 3.26 a game. Ibanez right up through the middle. Oh, he helps himself out. We'll see that soon. Nice web jam and a throw over, and they just got him at first. Aubrey Huff in the bottom of the six. In the left, Jason Conti. Come on down. Brent Abernathy. Huff on the snap door to first. Sleeping. 5-4 Devil Rays do grab the lead in the play. Wilson Alvarez, Carlos Beltran. A little flare up. The end of the bat to center. Abernathy, look out! He undercuts Andy Sheets, who's down in pain. That's an ankle injury. D-Rays win at 8-6. That's a shame. Andy Sheets come a long way to get back to the big leagues, but it's also nice just to see Canyon Sturts get some runs. His first win since July 2nd. That was... A game that he won at Texas, so you're right. Tanyan Sturt's first win in his last 10 starts. Fans, Roland didn't play in the game. Top three bases owed it. Albert Pujols to left, Pat Burrow, Hayden. Pujols and Burrow, two of the top young sluggers in the game. Top six bases loaded, no outs. Edgar Renteria, a career 222 hitter with the bases loaded. And the Lord's it, you got to rise up. Gone! Renteria's first career grand slam, 99th slam in the bigs this year. Cards win at 5 1. Cincinnati and Houston, we pick it up bottom two. Austin Kearns rips this one to left. Austin Powers. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's 10th of the year, 1 0 Reds. We're tied at one in the tenth. Ricky Stone gets Kearns and Kearns. A sun trip. Let's take another look at that. With the bat splinter. We don't want to see that again. Yeah. Next batter, Sean Casey, does some different woodwork. He got it. First walk-off home run of his career. This is one I'm definitely going to bottle up, he said. Sixth home of the year. Reds win at 2-1 in 10 innings. Rockies and Braves. Busy day for Rockies pitcher Jason Jennings. Top two Jennings at the plate gets plucked by Greg Maddox. Only the fourth batter Maddox has hit all year. Trainers rush out to check on Jennings. Shaking up, but he's a pitcher who got hit by a pitcher. He stays in the game. Bottom two, Braves base is loaded. Chipper Jones up the middle. Jennings does his best. I'm Greg Maddox, and I've got 12 straight gold gloves impressions. Bottom five, tied it to Matt Franco. Lines one off Jennings' glove in the center field. Franco straight, crushing kids, three for three. Bottom six, Keith Lockhart, the comebacker. Jennings stops it, goes to first for the out. Six innings, four strikeouts. Top nine, Larry Walker, as cool as the other side of the pillow. 25th homer of the year, second of the day, 26th career multi-homer game. Rock Either one of them would be third in the Pacific Coastal. <laughs> Fourth largest home crowd of the year, 25,000 almost. 
Guerrero returning from the strained left shoulder in Friday's game. Jose Macias just leaving his seventh three nothing Expos. Jose Vidro, JPV, ding dong, pitch dead. Five nothing Expos. Vidro having another solid year. I'll tell you what, he's turned into one of the premier second baseman in baseball. People don't realize how good this young man is. Uh oh, deja vu. Spinning around that one, second of the game, 15th of the year. What did you say, Buck? Outstanding. 8 1 Expos. 8 1 Tomo Oka. He has been, you know, he is a guy, talk about commanding the strike zone. He does it so well. He throws strikes and then he can get Kaskatse with a pitch out of the strike zone. Good split there. And then the top of the seven. Throws it away from Ramon Vasquez, who's a dead inside hitter. Rated CG, Peter. That's a complete game for Tomo Oka. Now, that was a great trade that Jim Beattie made last summer when he had to get rid of Ugeth Urbina. Picked him up. Very good deal. PV3 to third gave up eight earned runs, but the story was Oka and the hitting of Jose Vidro. Would we get to that point where we need him? Adam Heisdu singles to left. Lenny Harris. Paul Bacco. Jack Wilson. Safe. Not the best block of the play because the ball was there in time. That knee there. Tried with his ankle, but he slid right through it. Bucks up two zip. Heisdu, right center field. This is a solo performance. Pirates lead it 3-1. Here's Mike Williams. Richie Sexton, 3-2, 3-3. That doesn't bode well for a hitter. We talked about uh, great seasons, Peter, for pitchers on teams, and hitters on teams that haven't. What about this season? Yeah, uh, he's been he's been terrific. That was a great signing to bring him back, at least give them st some stability as they try to bring along their young pitchers. He sets a team record, folks, for saves with his 35th of the season.